I got a Monte Carlo Stalker by Hot Wheels. It's in okay shape. Somebody has painted it black, got black paint on the windshield. I may or may not have a replacement windshield. Uh, the base is in bad shape. The corners of it are broken off on the bumpers, especially on the front. Both corners are gone. But I have a replacement base for it right here. So we're good to go there. Um, we're going to strip this car, repaint it yellow, and polish the windshield or replace the windshield. And um, we're going to redo the base, even though this base is in really good shape. The bottom is all scratched up, so we're going to hit it with some Molotov Chrome ink, make it look brand new. So let's take a look at this car. So kids written on the base. Looks like KK, whatever that stands for. The tires on this base are in very bad shape. They are wore completely out. They just wobble all over the place. Easy to pop off the base, but we're not going to use this base, so we'll save that for another day. Um, these cars, the Torino, Monte Carlo, Murata Stalkers, all have the same interiors where they have the hood scoops but only the Torino stalker has the hood scoop that comes out the hood the other ones do not that interior is in pretty bad shape as well I'm gonna have to try my best to clean it up or replace it we'll figure that out as we go along the windshield has black paint on it as you see right here it's kinda of scratched up we might be able to save it one of the little pins in the back has come off and it looks like the, actually the back windshield has a crack in it so if we can't find a replacement we're going to have to go with that I hate that but we'll have to go with that also the car as I said before it used to be yellow and uh, you can buy the replacement paint over at the red line shop if you want I'm going to use a can of spray paint um, I don't know is this the right color I think this is a little bit brighter this is yellow ginger by Rust-Oleum so we're going to drop this in the citrus strip we'll drop the other base in some super clean and it'll remove all the chrome off the base and uh, we'll respray it with some Molotow ink and uh, go from there. Uh, that'll give us a brand new looking base. We'll have a strip car. We'll clean it up, polish it up, um, add some uh, fresh paint to it. Looks like there's some flash right there. I might file that flash off, make it look a little better. So I'm right there in the back window too. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then right there in the front. We'll file those off. I'll do that before I drop it in the. Well, I'll drop it in citrus strip first, then I'll file them off. That way I make sure I'm not filing off something I need. Uh, have not drilled the post. I'm going to drill the post before I drop it in the citrus strip and tap it, put screws in it, so that these holes don't get full of gunk. Because when you get it all painted and everything, you go to put your screw back in it, and it squeezes out stripper. You're going to wish you had put screw in it I usually keep a few screws laying around that I just stick in the base until I'm done and I put new screws in so let's get started drop this bad boy in the citrus strip drop the base in the super clean and polish the windshield all right we're back with the Monte Carlo stalker it's painted a beautiful yellow um, I don't forgot what color this is but it's still yellow <laughs> but it turned out fantastic I really like it um, I think it's a little brighter than the original, but still turned out great. The clear, I don't know what's going on with this yellow, but it didn't want to act right. But uh, I put the clear on it, and it has a lot of orange peel to it. I don't even know if you can see that orange peel. But um, it, it was a lot worse. And I stuck it in the toaster oven and let it uh, bake for 15 minutes at 160 degrees, and it like melted it 
smoothed it right out as much as it did now I couldn't find any wheels for this car so I basically these wheels still had halfway decent chrome on them these are older wheels and uh, I just sprayed them with some clear coat that I had a uh, rattle can and uh, made them look almost brand new so I'm gonna put these wheels back on on the front end I did have an axle that would fit and these are new wheels probably come off of a Mustang or something like that so we're gonna put these wheels on the back since we clear coated them and they'll look brand new I probably should touch up the chrome in the middle a little bit there but anyway I think the car is looking fantastic uh, in case you missed it this is the base uh, that I had earlier I re sprayed it with Molotow ink can you see right there where I had it with the uh, clamps it's white this plastic is white and then on this base here this is a base for a Torino stalker that base was black that's after I put them in super clean to strip it and the bases are different colored plastics I have this old base here which is the one that was broke up the plastics green so I'm just guessing it's either recycled material or just the era that it was made in you know the different years or something but yeah it's uh, different colored plastics underneath so I mean which one do you think looks better I think the black actually shines better than the white one does when it comes to the Molotow ink and then you have this one which you can't really tell anything but it probably looked at least as good as this it's a darker plastic so but anyway we're on to decals and I don't have the decals in yet so we're probably just gonna go ahead and put the wheels on the base and make sure we get the windshield cleaned up which is, you know we're gonna have to use this one because I didn't have one laying around so we can use the, the, the cracked one the, the interior looks great so we don't have nothing to worry about there so let me get back to work and we'll go from there all right we're back with the Monte Carlo stalker this car turned out fantastic that yellow with those blue decals just pops I mean just just like that I think it turned out fantastic I love it um, I'm doing a few others in this set and I think they should have been part of a track set I don't know if they were but I love these cars uh, the Marauder, the Stalkers, all the Stalkers, the Mustangs, the Torino, um, all of them. But anyway, let's get this one put back together, okay? We got the windshield. It turned out fantastic. I cleaned it, polished it, and dipped it into Pledge Floor Shine. <clears throat> it just sets right down in there like that. And it's supposed to have two posts in the back, and if you remember me telling you that one right there broke off, I didn't do it. It was like that when I got it. Here's an interior. This one didn't come with it, but because the um, hood scoop is still there, it's in bad shape from another car, I'm going to use it and use that, the one that was in here for that car so that it has a nice hood scoop. You make sure that post in the glass goes through the back of the interior. And then the base, I re-chromed with Molotow ink. I reconditioned the wheels, and I saved the pins and snapped the wheels back in. So it turned out fantastic. So we'll just set that back in there like that. And we're going to put some screws in it. Not sure which screws go in this one, short or long, but we're going to put them in there and find out. But um, yeah, this was just so rewarding when the decals went on and you could see what it looked like. It was just like unbelievable. You know, just uh, so relaxing once they were on there and you could say, wow. Uh, I don't think the screw is long enough. It, it, it went in. Okay, but anyway, you have to make sure these numbers go in the back on this car. They go back here, not in the front, because I was trying to put them on the wrong side to start with. And I got lucky, I was able enough to peel them off and put them back on right. There we go, the Monte Carlo Stalker. Yeah, there it goes. It's going to turn now. Anyway. I really did enjoy this video and I hope you did too um, if you did how about leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button 
and ring that notification bell for future notifications of great videos like this and, and many more. In the meantime, make sure you tell your friends and your family all about the Diecast group that does restorations and customizations. Uh, check out Second Chance Redline. That's where I got these decals from. Um, they're fantastic decals. They're really nice. They're laser printed. You don't need to put clear coat over them or anything. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. And if you go to his site, you can get a discount. Um, if, you, if you order enough decals, you can get some stuff free, free shipping, the whole nine yards. And no, I'm not sponsored. Anyway, I hope you have an awesome day.